The Red Army forces were now moving forward at speed. Their advance was made possible by fleets of trucks, mostly provided by the United States, that kept their forces supplied. It was a much faster process than for the Germans, who still relied heavily on horses. The Russians were also dominating the skies. The Luftwaffe had always been a key part of the German war machine. But Hitler had been forced to divert many of his aircraft to defend the homeland from a US and British bomber offensive. As a result, Russian planes outnumbered the Luftwaffe five to one. The Red Air Force's Stormvik fighter bombers took a heavy toll on German armor and supply column. Yet Hitler refused to contemplate defeat and now announced a new version of his no retreat policy. He ordered the German troops to create what he called fortified areas or local strongholds. These were to be defended to the bitter end. Only with his personal approval could any of these fortresses be abandoned. It was a desperate ploy and would come to cost the Germans dearly. One of the first tests of the new strategy was near the Ukrainian town of Kamenets Podolsky. Here, 20 divisions of panzers were threatened with being cut off. But Hitler declared it a fortified area and refused to allow a retreat. In the face of bitter fighting, there was a vitriolic argument between Hitler and Manstein, who could see the writing on the wall. Finally, Manstein got his way, and the panzers were given permission to break out. Ten days later, some 200,000 men of the 1st Panzer Army safely reached the German lines over a hundred miles to the west. But they had lost most of their heavy equipment and weapons. <laughs> 